Welcome back. So now we have kind of taken a good old console app and converted it into, let's just call it some kind of clean architecture. We've moved things around. We've tried to get, a, uh, get rid of everything for now that's UI specific, keep that inside a UI class. Everything that was domain specific, get that into the core, especially the application service part. We'll put that into the application part right here. We have domain specific stuff. We tried to move that into the domain area. We've tried to say all database related infrastructure stuff, put that into the repositories, put that into the infrastructure part, right? We've said all the different entities, put them into an entity area. So we've really tried to go and make our beautiful clean architecture here and I might as well just admit it. We're still missing a few things. There might be some changes that we can do to make this even better. And I'll get back to that as we move forward into the next series where we start looking at adding an infrastructure for the entity framework to start working with an SQL database. We'll get back to that later on. But let's see if things are actually running right now. So I'll start my application and it pops up looking something like this. Everything seems to be running, right? So if I press one, I can still see my clients, uh, my customers, and I can start adding a new customer right here. I can press one again, and yeah, there he is, the new guy. And I can delete a customer. Let's just delete the one we just created. Let's press list, and he's gone. I can edit a customer. Let's edit customer one, and just write doop, doop, doop. And there you see he's been edited. So the functionality is the same. And you're like, man, that was all that work to kind of do the same thing. What's the value? The value is that we prepared ourselves for the future. We now have a way for us to go in and extend this application without having to rewrite everything, right? There might be a few things that we can improve, but at least we now have kind of a structure to get started with. And this is a pretty strong structure. So this is a good starting point and in the next series, we're going to start adding new things to this setup. For instance, we're going to change the repository into using instead of a good old database, instead of using this dumb list right here. We're going to start moving the console app and instead using a REST API. And you're going to see that it's not going to change that much in our application. That's the power. It's so decoupled now that we can work with whatever we want without having to change everything in our application. That's the power. Also, you'll notice that when I start doing testing later on, I can focus on testing the core. I can focus on testing this with unit tests. And as soon as I'm ready, I can try and add some integration tests while I start looking in the outer core. But the cool thing is, it's all so separated. It makes perfect sense. But let's end this now. We have a running application. In the next series, we'll try and make it even better. We'll start adding more specific pieces of the puzzles and you'll end up having a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful customer application in the end. See you next time. Have fun.